You're watching Fugitive Red Eye, and welcome to the first episode of Discs in Depth. As the name implies, the point of this series is to take a more in-depth look at my DVD collection, and what the discs themselves contain, how they're packaged, etc. For this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the American release of Rocco's Modern Life, and the German release of, of Rocco's Modern Life. Obviously, as you can see, I own both of them. And I got the idea for this episode actually from watching Andy Kishore's video, where he compared the Australian release of SpongeGuard on Duty with the North American release of SpongeGuard on Duty. So, shout out to him for that. So we'll start with the front case. As you can see, it says Rocco's Modern Life, has Nickelodeon up in the corner, it says the complete series there, and has original artwork of the main characters, Rocco, Heifer, Gilbert, Spunky, and uh, it's signed down here by Joe Murray, and it says it is an eight-disc set. And for some reason, Rocco has a picture of the big heads mounted on his wall in this picture. I guess it's normal to have pictures of your neighbors, whatever, I don't know. As you can see here on the spine, it says Nickelodeon, Rocco's Modern Life, the complete series, shows them on the couch again. And it was released by Shout Factory, it has the DVD thing and the closed captioning thing here, as well as the serial number. Now for the description, it says, Spunky! All 52 episodes. What's a wallaby to do when he's surrounded by annoying neighbors, freeloading pals, heaps of laundry, and the weight of life in general? Why turn to his, to his loyal canine, Spunky? Dim-witted best pal Heifer and neurotic naysayer Filbert to help him confront the trials and tribulations of modern life. Created by Joe Murray, Camp Laszlo, Frog in a Suit, and starring Carlos Alizraki, Cat Dog, Reno 911, Tom Kenny, SpongeBob SquarePants, Mr. Lawrence, SpongeBob SquarePants, and Charles Adler, Ah Real Monsters. Rocco's Modern Life originally aired from 1993 to 1996 on Nickelodeon and has since become a cult favorite around the world. One of the few brilliant cartoons to break through the genre and emerge as a truly original television experience. Rocco inspires the artist in us all. All four complete seasons, 52 episodes, extras, original art by Joe Murray. And we got Heifer saying that was a hoot. Bonus features, Wacky Deli, Live 2012 with Joe Murray and the cast. Behind the characters shorts. Season 3, selected scene commentary from Joe Murray. trash -O Madness, original pilot version. And again, as I said, this is released by Shout Factory. It has all the copyright info down here. Now inside the case there is some more original artwork with several characters from the show. I'm not going to go over each and every individual character, but there's a lot of them there. Here we have Disc 1. As you can see it says Season 1, Disc 1, Rocco's Modern Life, etc. It has a picture of Rocco. And we got Season 2, Disc 1. I think these are a little bit out of order, and that's probably my fault for the way I put them back in here. And we got Season 1, Disc 2. We got Season 2, Disc 2. Season 3, Disc 1. Season 3, Disc 2. Season 4, Disc 1, and Season 4, Disc 2. Now, as you can probably already tell from this video, this case is broken. These discs just pop right out like that. It does give us more of a chance to look at the artwork a little bit closer, but unfortunately, as much as I love Shout Factory, their cases have a real big problem with these big cases of just breaking. As you can see, parts of this just pop right out. It does that with pretty much every big Shout Factory case I have. Hey Arnold, the Wild Thornberries, and this. Now we'll take a look at the box of the German one. As you can see, it has a, di a completely different set of artwork and shows many of the main characters as well. Rocco, Heifer, Spunky, Ed Bighead, and Filbert. Here it has six. I think that might be a rating. I'm not too familiar with German uh, releases, so correct me if I'm wrong, any Germans out there. Uh, as with the other one, it is an 8-DVD set. On the spine, it has the title and says Nickelodeon. This one was released by Turbine. The title is Rocco's Modernes Leben. Uh, that's how you say it in German. I find it interesting that there is no apostrophe in the German version. I don't know if punctuation works differently in the German language. Do let me know if you are more familiar with it than I am. I got a little picture of Rocco down here, another serial number, and the DVD logo. The description is in German. Um, okay, so running the German description on the back of the case through Google Translate into English, I got this. Now, keep in mind, with this translation... Uh, I actually cleaned up the grammar a little bit to make it make a little bit more sense in English, and I removed a couple of nonsense words that were in there every now and then, so it's probably not 100% accurate, but I think this gives us a pretty good idea of what the German description says. The Australian kangaroo Rocco has made it to the typical American city of O-Town. If not Rocco working behind the comic book and being bullied by his boss or having stress with his neighbors the big heads, he goes after his heart and hobby with his three weird friends. Spunky, his omnivorous mutt, who is inhabited by two parasites, Heifer, a lost bull who still lives with his adopted parents, a wolf family, and the short-sighted and long-termed tortoise, Filbert. And if the modern world is not already turned upside down, the four will do just that. Joe Murray's 1990s cult series from Nickelodeon, with SpongeBob SquarePants co creator Steve Hillenburg as a writer and producer. 
Joe Murray's ingenious look for the colorful addition to Ren and Stimpy, Ah Real Monsters, and Hey Arnold. Now all four seasons of 52 episodes are completely available on DVD. We got the bonus material, all one word. I think that's kind of interesting. It has much of the same bonus material, but uh, curiously enough, it does not have the uh, commentary. But that makes sense, as commentary would have been in English for Joe Murray. So, But it has all the other features that were included on the American set, other than the commentary. Down here at the bottom, we have all these specifications, which were curiously enough not on the American version. I also want to point out that the German version came with this big cardboard slip over the top of it, which the American Shout Factory release did not have. But the casework is identical on the sleeve and the case itself. The German version also came with an episode guide, which the American one did not, so I think that's kind of cool that it came with it. Um, but yeah, there's the episode guide, there's the front of it. There's the back of the episode guide. And as you can see, there's a description, I believe, of the show itself. I could be wrong. Again, I don't actually speak German, and I'm not going to Google Translate all of this. I'm, um, but there's all the bonus material listed there. As you can see, it has a brief episode description for each of the episodes, and it does give both the German and English title, which I do appreciate. And as far as I know, all of the artwork in this is original specifically to this set, so I think that's pretty cool, too. But yeah, there's more of that. And more there. And that there. Now this German case is a lot more sturdy. It uh, doesn't have any of it fall out, so that's very nice. But we'll take a look at the discs in a second here. There's disc one of season one. It contains episodes one through six, plus bonus material, as you can see. The only problem with the German one is it has these really rough middle pieces that can easily break the disc if you're not careful when taking them out. But yeah, there's disc two. Curiously enough, it looks like the German version has a reversible case, but from what I can tell, it's actually identical to the other case, at least on the back. Here's Season 2, Disc 1. There's Season 2, Disc 2. Season 3, Disc 1, and Season 3, Disc 2. Season 4, Disc 1, and Season 4, Disc 2. I didn't end up taking these ones out, because like I said, this case is very, like, rough on the discs if you're not absolutely perfect at taking it out, so I'm being really careful. On the plus side, it does hold them in there very well, but like I said, that's one concern. But I did confirm that the art underneath this is identical to the art on the actual case itself, so the reverse art is exactly the same. as. Also, as you can see, when we put the German one right next to the American one, the German DVD case is actually quite a bit thicker than the American case. Now we'll take a brief look at the contents of each disc. We're starting with the American series, the American release. This is disc one. Here we have the standard FBI anti-piracy warning. There's the Shout Factory logo. Um, if all the discs have this identical, I'm only going to go over this on the first disc of this set, obviously. But, uh, here's the menu for Season 1, Disc 1. As you can see, it has a list of the episodes. We go to the next page, has the other episodes, and then there's the previous page. There's no special features on Disc 1, as you can see. As you can see, Disc 2 looks almost identical. Um, I believe there are some special features on Disc 2, though. Let's see. No, it looks like not. Looks like looks like Disc 2 also has no special features, so it looks pretty much identical, just different episodes. Alright, here we have disc one of season two. So yeah, there's that. There's all the episodes listed there. Alright, now here we have disc two of season two. Disc two actually has different uh, menu because it has Heifer on it and Filbert. Disc two also has special features. The actual original pilot version of uh, Trash O' Madness. And we got some characters behind the characters with Joe Murray. See what these look like. We're not going to actually watch the whole thing. We're just going to give them a try. So it looks like this is like a drawing tutorial of, uh, the characters. I assume it's much the same for each character. Alright, now here we have Season 3, Disc 1. As you can see, there's the episodes there. We turn the page. There's more episodes there. Here's the next disc for that season. As you can see, it has only one bonus feature. It's the commentary, selected scene commentary by Joe Murray. But yeah, he just gives specific uh, commentary on a specific scene. Uh, we're probably not going to play because you know how Viacom is. We don't want to show too much of that. This one actually has a different warning for Season 4, so there's that. Still has the same Shout Factory thing, though, but it has a different uh, anti-piracy warning. And as we can see, here's the menu. Again, still image. Has the next page there. And here's the next disc, the final disc of the set, Season 4, Disc 2, for the American set. As you can see, Season 4 doesn't have any special features at all. It just has the episodes. Oh, actually, no, it does have a bonus feature. What do you know? Wacky Deli Live 2012. 
So I assume, yeah, this was at a convention or something of the sort. And it has a Rob Paulson here. But then Joe Murray himself should be in this as well. Yeah, there's Joe Murray himself. Oh, here we have the German version. As you can see, it has a warning here, in German, obviously. And uh, here we have the next warning, uh, again, also in German. And there's the company that released, I believe this is probably the one for Turbine itself. Especially since there's a plane involved, I would assume this is Turbine. Yeah, Turbine. Then it also has the Nickelodeon logo, which, surprisingly, the uh, North American one didn't. As you can see, this is all in German on the menu, and it also has the option to watch them in English or German. And as you can hear, it actually has the version of the uh, theme song. Here we have disc two of season one for the German version. And here we have disc one of season two. Here we have disc two of season two. All right, here we have season three, disc one. Here we have season three, disc two. Here we have Season 4, Disc 1. And finally, the final disc, Season 4, Disc 2. And this version of Season 4 does not have any special features. Now, one of the key differences between these two sets is that the German version contains the uncut versions of The Good, The Bad, and The Wallaby and... Hut Sut Ra, whereas this contains the censored versions of those two episodes. Both of these versions, however, do not have the uncut version of... Road Rash. Road Rash is still censored on both versions. But yeah, that does it for this episode of Discs in Depth. I hope you've enjoyed. This has been Fugitive Red Eye. Have a great day. Subscribe to Fugitive Red Eye.